Hello and welcome back to the Hunter Classic. We are in the store today and we're going to take a look at, I have 5,621 gems. After the reset, I'm not gaining a whole lot of gems before I spend them on something. And something new, something that uh, we don't always get or something like that, just something new. And today we're going to talk about loadouts. Now there's a couple of things that you can consider when you're spending your gems or your money. Is it going to help you hunt or is it going to help you? And things that would help you hunt are, you know, uh, the lures. You know, I was, I thought that was the first thing I was going to do was come in here and buy a decoy. And I was going to buy the turkey decoy. Turkey de decoy is 3400 You need, well, you don't need three, but I like to have three. That's the, uh, the maximum you can get, maximum attraction and distraction. Uh, so I thought, well, I'll just buy one, and then the next time I get 3400 I'll buy another one, and the next time I get 3400 what have you. But then I thought, no, I am spending a lot of time bouncing back and forth between Pickabeam and White Run Ridge. Now, when you go to those places, you have to change your clothes, you know, put on the warm um, gear or what have you, and or the cold weather gear. And you can get an inventory. I think everybody got one inventory loadout. And you can buy them for 4,250 gems. So I do have enough. And it, and, and this is what it does. It saves time um, changing your outfit. Uh, so what I, I have one already, I believe. But we're going to go ahead and buy one. Buy it with gems. And let's go into a hunt. Let's go to Pickman Bay. I think I'm actually dressed for Pickman Bay right now. And here, just before you get into Pickman Bay, you can select your loadout. Now, I have one already. It's called the Goose Hunter, and you can probably guess what, what that's set up for. Um, but I do need to go in and change it because, you know, I don't have, I didn't have the glasses at the time, or. Um, you know something or a, another weapon that you could uh, you could use another shotgun what have you so we're gonna go to pick up in bay we're gonna start over at the geese setup 11 o'clock is fine bear with me here okay so I am dressed you can see I'm dressed in pick up in clothes now let's see what I was I think I was hunting big yeah I was hunting big stuff yesterday so, what do we need? Uh, I do have a couple of tents. So we'll, we'll leave that there for now. Okay, big gun for the big animal. Since I'm here at the ducks, I don't know. Uh, at the geese, I'll probably leave those in. <coughs> you can take them out as soon as you get here if you don't want them. So we need sandbar and Rissa collar and then we need sandbar spray. Where is the sandbar spray? So that's a good thing to have. Uh, clothing, yes, with the right goggles, yes. Go back to equipment. Uh, hog, we have hog on here. Does the 34 weather be a good animal for hog? Absolutely it is. So a hog squealer might be good. You can see I do carry a tent. I'm at 1960, so I can't um, set that up unless I remove this. So now let's get us a hog collar. We want collars. Uh, what is it? Hog? No, it's called squealer. Oh, there it was, yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe a dog. You can set your dog up. We've got 1760. I can't even take a bow at the moment. I could take the pistol. I'm at 1970. So this can be changed. Uh, no scope. Close range on those water buffalo. Long range on the um, other animals. Ooh, I wouldn't be able to take more ammo either because of the weight. I do have my med kit. So probably what I'll do Hmm. Do we really want this? It doesn't take much just to to move this. 
But anyway, let me know what you think uh, you would put in your loadout. Take out the tent because I have several uh, in the area. Let's go ahead and resume this game. I'll show you the map. Got several tents. Oop, I'm sorry. Let's do that every time. I got one tent here at the lighthouse. That's for a mission. That's always for missions. I'll just leave it there. Uh, my geese set up one at this tunnel. So if you start here, you can fast travel to this one. And then I have one here. I gotta go up and get that flag. Um, at my tree stand and other setup up there. Okay, let's uh, bring you back and show you how to save it. Uh, let's see. Let's go back out of here. Let's go into the equipment. We have this setup here, loadouts. This is an empty one. We're going to save this loadout, what we have. We're going to save it. Would you like to save your current loadout into this slot? Yes. Now, you can also change the color, I believe. Skaker's loadout number two. You can edit it, change the color. It is Pikmin Bay, so we're going to go green with that. And we'll just say Pikmin Bay. We'll confirm that. Now I have two loadouts. We'll resume that. We'll get out of game here. Uh, we want to go to hunt now. This will work in, uh, it should work in anything multiplayer or single player. So here we have Goose Hunter and Pikmin Bay. So all I have to do is hit Pikmin Bay. Now if I go straight back to Pikmin Bay, it's going to have what I have. But let's go Goose Hunter and then go to Hirschfelden. And of course to hunt Goose, I go here. And start the game. So I should be up on the berm just above my, yep, just above my goose setup. And I should have a shotgun ready. Might have another shotgun ready. No, I got the air rifle ready. Oh, they, oh yeah, that's, when we were shooting back in the day, it was free ammo for me. So I was just plucking pheasants off of the, off of the ground. Not seeing any, of course, but... Um, and the outfit that I'm wearing. Turn around, face the sun here. Oh, did I hear my dog? Because I am ready for. Yep, I even got my dog down here, so. There is Duna. As she's my retriever, and we may just go out here in the field and hunt some uh, goose while we're here.